ProcessingTV.com, your online community marketplace for Central Florida short sales. My name is Eric Mieles. Hope everybody had a fantastic weekend and a great Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Hope you enjoyed your day. Um, let's get into today's show. I have a couple of new, actually one, two, three, four, five, six new short sales that I want to announce and bring to you guys and then discuss a particular file that's here in my office. It's been an incredible day, really busy, um, have a lot of things going on, I'll update you guys, but I should have an eventful week with some great information that I think everybody will value out there um, and appreciate. So here we go, let's start off with the first short sale, Bella Lago, 3 bedroom, 2 bath, 1,557 square feet. This is a short sale, built in 2005, listed for $115,000, one day on the market, listed by Lib Frida of Allstate Realty Services. So Bell Lago is a gorgeous community, really, really pretty, Spanish tile roofs, everybody loves it, it's got amazing amenities, sits on the lake, so it's really nice, okay? That'll go quick, by the way. Um, second one in Hunters Creek, very popular area, Villanova at Hunters Creek, this is a condo, two bedroom, two and a half bath. 1,219 square feet, so this is a good size condo. Short sale, one day on the market, I bring them to you as soon as they hit. Listed for $89,000 by Maribel Monaro of Florida Fantasy Real Estate. It's a great name, Fantasy Real Estate, I like that. Um, third one, Deerfield, four bedroom, two bath, 2,337 square feet. This is a short sale, one day on the market. Listed for $149,900 by Carla Robinson of Carla Robinson Realty, okay? So where to go, Carla Robinson? Um, fourth one, Lee Vista Square, an area that I love very, very much, southeast Orange County, close to the 417, close to the airport, a lot of growth coming to that area. Lee Vista, Lake Nona, really have great potential for future appreciation, so if there's some home buyers watching the show, you want some more information, I can help you. Um, we have a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath townhome, 1,526 square feet, short sale, three days on the market, listed for $100,000 by Chelsea Lockhart, okay? Uh, next one, Avalon Lakes, Avalon Lakes, four-bedroom, two-bath, 2,008 square feet, short sale, one day on the market, listed for 139000 by Rebecca Puig of Charles Rutenberg Realty. And the last one, literally behind my office, right here, Palms Villa Residences, right off of Central Florida Parkway between John Young and Orange Blossom Trail, one bedroom, one bath, 632 square feet, short sale, three days on the market, listed for $41,900 by Gilda um, Santacana. Of Remax Town Center. I'm sorry, Gilda, if I messed up your last name. I apologize. Um, get me back. My last name is Mieles, but no one can say it right. So, anyway, so that's today's list. There you go. Um, start your Monday off with some great short sales to hit the market. On to today's news. Uh, it's been an eventful day here in short sales. I'm dealing with this file right in front. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there you go. It's a monster. Over 100 pages. Um, the foreclosure is tomorrow, believe it or not. I got all the way to upper, upper senior management to fight it, to postpone it. I'll keep you updated on what's going on. Um, it's been a whirlwind. I have all my notes. They're uh, lying to me, basically, and I've caught them. So uh, a request has been in to stop the foreclosure. They're ordering the appraisal on a rush. They're doing all the things necessary because they know they messed up. I keep track of everything. I'm very detailed, so there you go. So that's what my day is, um, as well as all these others. Uh, I'll pull them up for you guys. Anybody out there, the short sale business is a tough one. <laughs> uh, but anyway, what I wanted to do today's show, and if you're new to the show, I like to... <clears throat> Uh, after announcing some of the properties for some home buyers out there, I like to leave the show with a little tip for either homeowners and some agents out there, uh, really allowing us to share information, get better at our job, help more borrowers save them from foreclosure. Well, that's exactly what we did with this file. Really, if there's some borrowers tuning in, uh, you do have options. My goal is to bring forth information that will help you guys not just sit there and not make a decision. It's so important that you do something. There is options. Let a professional help you. All these professionals that I just mentioned are helping someone. We can do it. We have the tools and the, and the necessary knowledge. This particular file came in to me 
Uh, I have it here, 325, okay? Today is, what's today? The 9th of, of May, okay? So a little over a month, and we have full approval. And our approval is a uni little unique. For anybody that doesn't know, this is a HAFA-approved short sale. HAFA, H-A-F-A, -A, stands for Home Affordable Foreclosure Alternative. It's a program that was started uh, with the Obama administration, um, you know, making homes affordable. And what it is is a streamlined short sale process that servers can implement to help get some... Uh, you know, some streamlining and some processes into the short sale world to help a borrower out. There are some eligibility requirements. Email me if you'd like to know what those eligibility requirements are. But uh, for time's sake in today's show, basically what I'm doing is, as you can see on the screen, showing you the letter that was sent to me. This was one lender associated with this file, which was Chase. Um, they approved the HAFA request, which is amazing. And just some of the things that I'll point out as you're looking at this document online, which is the real thing, is, um, you know, the seller is getting $3,000 in relocation assistance. How cool is that? Helps them restart, uh, you know, reestablish themselves, move on, find a rental, and rebuild their credit um, so eventually maybe they can get that uh, dream of home ownership again. Fantastic. Another important note. They will allow up to $6,000 for the second lien holder, um, which is amazing because a lot of times anybody, agents especially watching this, know if there's two liens associated with your home, the first one determines what the second one's going to get. If the second one doesn't agree, you don't have an approval. So you have to go back and forth negotiating between these two big powerhouses and there's a struggle and all these paperwork and, and all this stuff. So, you know, it can get crazy. Um, but it's cool that they're willing to give up to six thousand dollars to the second. Fantastic. Another key thing to point out is the professionals working on this file, uh, the real estate professionals that are helping the homeowner, that are listing and marketing the property, that bring forth the really willing and able buyer. They can't have their commission cut below six percent. Another big thing. So if you're doing a short sale, the lender says yes, we'll do it, um, and they cut your commission from six percent down to three percent. Um, you know, because they want to save money. Um, not allowed. Not allowed in this program. So that's a great thing because uh, obviously professionals should get what they deserve. They're working hard um, to save people. So, uh, you know, some other highlights. Um, there will be no deficiency, no promissory note signed. So that means, let's say, for example, you owe the bank $200,000 on your loan, okay? And you short sale it and you market value on their house is $100,000. And you're asking the bank to waive $100,000 off of your loan to allow you to go move on and for them to close out this uh, bad debt, okay? Uh, they could sue you for that $100,000 that you didn't pay. They have the right to do so. It's called a deficiency judgment, okay? But under this program, um, they won't come after you for the deficiency judgment. It's stated in the documentation in the writing. So it's an amazing thing. No promissory note. You don't have to sign a note stating that you'll pay that hundred grand back over an extended period of time. That's fantastic too. So these are just some, some highlights of the HAFA uh, short sale approval that I have in this file. Just a little over a month. I'm really excited. Every time I get an approval on a file, it's a fantastic thing because it means we save some from foreclosure. A buyer got an amazing house at today's market value um, and you know we, we saved yet another and, and eventually you know I'm just one guy but I can do as much as I can to share as much as I can with you guys to eventually uh, stabilize our market get it back to where it needs to be to have people happy flourishing and doing well okay so enough from me that's my rant for today um, you guys know you can always reach me at my email right there okay uh, you can reach me on my cell phone 407 383-2189. Um, for agents out there or anybody else that you want to go, please look at the link below. This is a group that I started on Facebook. I want to unite the biggest, best, and brightest locally here in Central Florida. I'd love a forum or a community for us to share information, share listings, um, share tips, share things like this. And I'd love for uh, you know the community public to, to tune in and, and ask questions and do things. So that's something that I'm working on slowly. Okay, I'd love to build it up. And last but not least, agents out there, if you want uh, help processing your short sale, if you're extremely busy right now in this spring season, you got a lot of buyers, you can't service your short sales, 
you don't have the time to go through uh, these monsters here, uh, I'd, I'd be able to help you. We help uh, process short sales for free, um, 100%. And that's what I do all day. So um, there you go. All right. And you know, any homeowners out there, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'd love to help you. Um, and that's what I do. So anyway, have a fantastic day. Take care. Ultra Processing TV. Bye.